Fresno County took an odd turn this morning. The sheriff's office says 31 year old Osved Vasilian hit two cars near Herndon and Riverside, then got out of his car and walked off. The sheriff's office says he also pulled down his pants and started masturbating in broad daylight by the crash. A deputy detained him near Dickey's Barbecue. No one was hurt, though American Ambulance did show up to make sure everyone was okay. Vasilian's car was towed away from the area. He was cited for misdemeanor hit and run. One of the men who was hit posted about it on TikTok, showing the scratches on his Mustang, the really bad damage to another truck, and debris scattered across the road as Fresno police investigated. He caught video of Vasilian appearing to touch himself, what you saw right there, before he walked off away from police, going right through traffic and nearly getting hit by two different cars turning onto Riverside. Breaking news right now in Orange Cove. Jenna Liston is live on Road 120 at Manning Avenue with the latest on this crash. Jenna, good morning. Now, good morning, Kim. We just pulled up here to this crash. We've seen two cars involved so far, maybe one down the way. We're this dark morning here this morning, but take a look here. They're moving some of these cars out of the way right now. The first car has actually been taken out earlier once we got here but you see the damage to the front end of these cars a lot has been done here the same went for that other car off to the side it's actually still if we pan over to the left you see that other car over there as well they haven't taken off with it just yet but this road is closed down right now we are along south hills valley road and kim down in the distance as well i believe we see another truck that could potentially be involved too that a tow truck is trying to lift up onto there there is another car down the way as well. I haven't gotten a closer look to see if there's any damage done to that vehicle too. So far, we don't know any injuries at this point, how many people were involved in this crash. So hopefully we get an update here from CHP here pretty soon. But just know that this roadway is going to be closed for quite a bit if you are heading out the door here this morning. Kim? nature of a couple of those vehicles. This looks like at least two hit head on and another one from the back, which is concerning. What about the people who were driving those vehicles or were in them as passengers? Have you seen anyone? I mean, there's some people out there, but are, are they the ones who were in the cars or truck? I don't believe so. Those are just people who live right nearby. And then looking at the front damage of the car, Kim, I'm looking yeah. at a lot of damage on the passenger side, but rather than the driver's side. But like we said, once they start moving these cars out of the way, hopefully I'll get a better picture as what the front damage looks like. And who was in those cars when this crash happened? All right, Jenna, thank you. The police are looking for a man wanted for stealing a car, but not only did he steal it, he injured the owner of the car while he took off. That's right. Fox 26 reporter Kimberly Conner joins us now live from the Shell gas station on McKinley and Peach where this happened. So Kimberly, where exactly at that station you're standing at did this take place? Well, Monty, it happened exactly where I'm standing at around 1030 yesterday morning. This driver pulls up. He leaves his car running and heads inside the fast and easy convenience store to make a purchase or so he thought. What happens next happens very fast. This silver Hyundai Sonata pulls up to the Shell gas station on McKinley and Peach in southeast Fresno. The owner, right there with the red hat, gets out to buy something quickly. He leaves the car running. Problem is, the guy that passes him by notices the car still running. You can see him looking back at it right there. He looks down at his phone, then decides to curve back around, and there he goes, headed straight for the driver's seat. Two seconds later, the driver notices. He latches onto the handle of the door, but the guy still races away at one point, wedged the owner of the car up against another one, possibly even rolling over his foot. After a few seconds on the ground, the owner of the car thankfully is able to get up, but even his phone was in the car, so he had to ask the convenience store owner to borrow the phone to call police. This is the guy police are looking for. He was caught on camera wandering around the store before the carjacking happened. This type of crime, because it involved violence, can be between three to nine years in prison under Penal Code 250. Now, the owner of this gas station says this is the second time a carjacking like this has happened in just the last six months. He says a lot of people leave their cars running here this time of year because it's hot. They want to keep the AC going. He says he hopes after watching this, that's going to deter people. And Kimberly, the owner of that car, he is OK after that, after being dragged away by that other driver. 
seemingly okay as you could see in that video he's able to get up and walk into the convenience store the owner says he looked okay he was a little banged up a couple of bruises uh, but obviously shaken up by the whole experience hopefully somebody's seen where that car is now and can tell police about it thank you Kimberly. again that car was stolen is a 2017 hyundai sonata if you have any information on this carjacking you are asked to call fresno police hi friends I'm Wendy Lane, a former KNDH reporter, and now I am in Florida, which is a very rainy day today, but it is so humid here. Count yourself blessed. That's what I miss about the Central Valley. Yes, it's hot, but it is a dry heat, and I promise it's better. Anyway, I want to wish KNDH a very, very, very happy 50th anniversary. I miss you all. I love you all. Bye, friends.